The midterm elections are just 43 days away, and early voting is happening right now in many states, including here in Virginia. Abortion, of course, one issue driving people to the polls. New polling suggests a majority of Americans are against the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. ABC's Ike Jachi has more. The midterm elections are just 43 days away, and this morning, early voting is underway in several states. One of the biggest issues for voters will be abortion access, a topic front and center in Arizona. A state judge just upheld a 121-year-old law, enacted 11 years before Arizona was a state, which reinstates a near-total ban on the procedure and criminalizes abortion providers. At the same time, the Republican-controlled Arizona legislature enacted a separate 15-week ban. The White House press secretary slamming the decision as dangerous, saying in a statement, this backward decision exemplifies the disturbing trend across the country of Republican officials at the local and national level dead set on stripping women of their rights. I'm pro-life. I've uh, never backed away from that and never will. Women and girls will die because of it. The decision grabbing the attention of young Arizona voters. Is there a topic or an issue on the top of your mind that'll pitch to the polls? The abortion issue. Um, I like for it to stay legal, hopefully everywhere. I definitely am going to vote um, to keep abortion access alive and well in Arizona, if I can, through the midterm election. A new ABC News Washington Post poll found Americans broadly oppose the Supreme Court's ruling overturning Roe v. Wade, with Americans trusting Democrats by a 20-point margin on the issue. Some Republicans are reacting. In Wisconsin, the Republican gubernatorial candidate Tim Michaels reversing his stance on abortion. He now says he would support exceptions to the state's abortion ban for rape and incest. Now, that new ABC News Washington Post poll says 56% of Democrats want to replace Biden at the top of the 2024 ticket, while 46% of Republicans say they want Trump. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Washington.